Hi, Dr. Dan Purser, danpursermd.com. PCOS, what causes it? Uh, how can you improve it? Can you resolve it? Some questions that a lot of you ask constantly, why do you have it? Some things we've found out in the last few years. Every woman I've checked that has PCOS has significant methylation problems like MTHFR, like either the compound heterozygous or, or homozygous C677T. That's gotta be dealt with. They also have other methylation conditions that you wanna deal with all at the same time, hopefully. If you have PCOS, if you have methylation conditions, you won't make enough hormones like progesterone and stuff like that. I don't know yet why the testosterone levels tend to run high and why the insulin receptor dysfunction occurs, the insulin resistance. I believe it's because they usually run B12 deficiencies or other kind of vitamin deficiencies. I see that pretty consistently in PCOS patients. They're tired, they're overweight, um, they have run high testosterone levels and insulin resistance. So the testosterone levels are always in, um, high. So being tired often and usually indicates vitamin deficiencies. So again, get a spectra cell, check your hormones, see where they're at. Uh, natural progesterone helps a lot with this condition. The synthetic is in birth control pills or certain IUDs and stuff are not good for these patients because they have a high risk of strokes, heart attacks, and clots when they use those. If you take birth control pills, you have PCOS, they make you feel really awful, quit taking them. Go to your doctor and just say, these aren't working, I'm gonna quit taking them. And you have another option, ask for natural progesterone like Prometrium. The generic Prometrium is really inexpensive. It's, it's widely available now, and it's natural progesterone in capsule form made by Big Pharma. So that's the way I would treat this, and they get dramatically better usually. You can't cure it or anything, but you can make it 95, 98% better. So um, and give them a lot better life and able to have kids and have a pretty normal life. So anyway, this is Dr. Dan Persher. I hope this helped. If you have PCOS and you can't get help us, we can always contact me. God bless and go in good health.